Robbie Ravenwood is relatively new to us, but we know several things about him. Number one, he likes hats. <laughs> number two, he's a very natty dresser. And number three, he writes original musical material, which he performs himself. So please welcome Robbie Ravenwood. How y'all doing? Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a musical satirist, and a lot of people ask me, is that like Satanism? <laughs> and it, it is. It's, it's like Satanism, but with songs. So. Uh, my first song, I wrote a spiritual here in a church. That, that makes a lot of sense, right? This is a spiritual song. Some of you may relate to, to the story. It's about a man seeking redemption and uh, 26 annual payments for cash value. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 
uh, my next song, well, before I begin my next song, I want to dispel a rumor, or a myth, I guess you would say, about performers. Everyone thinks that all performers are sex-crazed, drug-abusing, depressed homosexuals. And I just want to go on record that I am not depressed. Thank you. Over time, you leave some drinks on the I'm not supposed to laugh. Uh, so anyway, I wrote a song about uh, therapy in the 21st century, so uh, for, for probably a lot of Californians in here. Anybody ever been in therapy before? <laughs> uh, we can admit it, you know, all our congregation together. And, uh, you know, in the fairness to the psychology, I mean, for a, a, a week I tried uh, group therapy, and for a month I tried hypnotherapy, and for 27 years I tried medical marijuana. <laughs> I'm still trying that one, but anyway. Uh, this is a song about cutting age therapy. You might want to try. I asked my therapist what's wrong with my miserable life. I begged her for the body with her exact knife. Instead, she mesmerized me with a Freudian stare. And she said, Bye bye, I know the way of the destroyer. I said, What's it called? Sister, just last night on the TV, I saw the Holocaust on history. Well, that was quite disturbing. So I turned on the news. I saw a plane crash on the homeless. So ready for the news. And she said, Progress, not perfection, now. Go in denial. She said, Denial is your prescription, but you don't need a Oh, God. 